I'm going to let you know right now that the book we're about to talk about is by far the darkest book I've ever read. The book is Looking for Alaska by John Green. Before we talk about the dark but also brilliant and amazing storyline, let's look at the main characters. First, we have the narrator. His name is Miles, but his friends call him Pudge because he's skinny. I know, it's hilarious. Pudge is very quiet, shy, and wants to leave his public school, so he's now enrolled in a private boarding school. When he gets to the school, he meets his friend Chip. Chip prefers to be called the Colonel. The Colonel is a short, tough guy that has gone to this boarding school for a few years now. He enjoys drinking, smoking, and also somehow being a great student. The final and most important character is Alaska. Alaska is another student at the boarding school who is friends with the Colonel. She is fun, rebellious, and loves to pull pranks, but there's also a side of Alaska that she tries not to show. This side is dark and painful. Now that we know the main characters, let's get to the actual story. The main theme of this story is that some people cannot escape the labyrinth of suffering. I know, that was like a bomb in your brain. But sit tight, you'll understand in the next few minutes. Alaska first brings up the idea of the labyrinth when talking to Pudge and the Colonel about her favorite book. Her favorite line from the book reads, he was shaken by the overwhelming re revelation that the headlong race between his misfortunes and his dreams was at that moment reaching the finish line. Dang it, he sighed, how will I ever get out of this labyrinth? The man in the book is talking about how he feels like his life is full of suffering and it's a labyrinth that he cannot escape. As the story goes on, Alaska becomes obsessed with this idea of this labyrinth, but we don't realize how big of a deal this labyrinth is until the end of the book. The big bang or climax in this book is when Alaska dies in a car crash late one night. To the rest of the school, this seems like a sad and tragic accident, but Pudge and the Colonel think something is a little bit fishy. A few days before Alaska's death, she was doing what she does best, and that is pulling pranks alongside Pudge and the Colonel. After the very successful prank, they all go out for a celebratory smoke. During this, she tells Pudge about how she watched her mom die when she was younger, but too young to do anything about it. Somehow, she still gives herself all the guilt and takes all the blame. Pudge says, It was the central moment of Alaska's life. When she cried and told me that she screwed everything up, I knew what she meant now. And when she said she failed everyone, I knew whom she meant. It was the everything and the everyone of her life. Before they all go to bed, Alaska makes a comment, and she says, You guys smoke to enjoy, I smoke to die. The night of Alaska's death, she is hanging out with Pudge and the Colonel, and they're all having a good time, drinking a lot. A few hours after they all go to sleep, Alaska runs back into their room, screaming and crying, saying that she needs to go somewhere and go there fast. They are all hesitant, but then she screams, just help me get out of here. So they do. They distract the headmaster so Alaska can get in her car and leave. Then she dies. In the days following Alaska's death, Pudge and the Colonel do some digging. They knew something was just not right. They found that Alaska wrote a paper titled, How Do We Escape the Labyrinth of Suffering? And in her book, there is a little note written in the margin alongside her favorite quote that reads, straight and fast. Which, oddly, is exactly how she crashed her car that night. Straight and fast. Pudge and the Colonel are now convinced that Alaska didn't just die in a tragic car wreck. She committed suicide by driving her car right into a truck, straight and fast. It's clear that Alaska's life was just a labyrinth of suffering, the labyrinth that she kept talking about. 
No matter how many pranks she pulled or how many nights she drank and smoked with Pudge and the Colonel, she couldn't get out. So she gave up because some people, just like Alaska, cannot escape the labyrinth of suffering. <laughs>